Now, really, I must go. Oh, no. No, I, I've taken a liking to you. But you promised. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to put you up for membership. But I'm not a monster. Nonsense. You're the greatest monster of them all. Oh, Mr. Club Secretary, I want to propose my friend here as a member of this August assembly. What? He's a... He's a Hume! Yes. But can we truly call this a monster club if we do not boast amongst our membership a single member of the human race? Nonsense! What can he do? What can he do? In the past 60 years, Humes have exterminated over 150 million of their own kind. No effort has been spared to reach this astronomical figure. And the methods that they have used must demand our unstinted admiration. You know, Humes began with certain very serious disadvantages, but these they overcame with wonderful ingenuity. Not having a fang or a claw, or even a whistle worth talking about, they invented guns and tanks and bombs and aeroplanes and extermination camps and poison gas and daggers and swords and bayonets and booby traps and atomic bombs and flying missiles, submarines, warships, aircraft carriers, and motor cars. They have even perfected a process whereby they can spread a lethal disease on any part of this planet. Not to say anything about nuclear power. <laughs> oh, during their short history, you know, Humes have subjected other Humes to death by burning, hanging, decapitation, strangulation, electrocution, shooting, drowning, crushing, racking, disemboweling, <laughs> and other methods far, far too revolting for the delicate stomachs of this August descent. I never realized he was so talented. We don't like to boast. I second the proposal. A member of such a talented race can only be a credit to any monster club. Oh, bravo. Oh, bravo.